All right, similar to the freezing point depression is the boiling point elevation. So this is gonna cover some problems on page T of chemistry page 1126. I wanted to point out the um, boiling point elevation and the freezing point depression are what are called colligative properties. <clears throat> In other words, it doesn't matter what type of material it is. All that matters is how concentrated is the solute. So there could be all kinds of different solutes that could be used. And the identity of the material doesn't matter. There's not a chemical reaction taking place. It's just how concentrated is, <clears throat> is the solute. Um, so let me say that term again, colligative. So you'll see that in the pace. And I'm telling you, <laughs> those of us who have worked paces as students, um, we tend to make up our own pronunciations of words. And then when we hear them in real life, we feel like we're not hearing something we've ever heard before. So looking at it, I might have thought it was colligative or colligative. <laughs> but I actually looked it up on dictionary.com and clicked on the little um, speaker to hear it pronounced correctly, and it's colligative, okay? Anyways, that's just a little side note. Here we go. Problem 51 says, what is the boiling point elevation of water in a solution of salt? <clears throat> they tell us how many grams of salt we have, and 250 kilograms of water. So here's our formula. The change in temperature, the um, boiling point elevation. So elevation means it's raising the temperature. In other words, the water has to get hotter before it'll boil because we have a solution, <clears throat> a solute dissolved in it. So the Kb value here is not negative 1.86, it is 0 0.51. So that's on the table um, and it's explained in the pace and we're gonna use water the most so uh, it might be good to memorize that one or be, become very familiar with that one. Then remember that M is the molality. So they give us the information we need, but we have to solve for molality. So you've been doing that for a little while now, but I'll just do a quick reminder here. We're gonna use the magic triangle or solvent for molality. So how many kilograms of solvent? Well, we have 250 grams. And there's a thousand grams in one kilogram, right? So 250 over a thousand would be 0.25. So you can fill that in. <clears throat> then I'm not going to do this for you. I want you to look up what is the mass of sodium, what is the mass of chlorine, add those together, and that's the molar mass, okay? So then the mass that's given, 58.443 grams, divide by the molar mass, and that's how many moles you have, okay? Once you know the moles and we know the um, kilograms of solvent, 0.25, then you can divide and you'll have the molality. <clears throat> then it's just a matter of plugging into our formula here, okay? Because we're solving for the boiling point elevation. You can plug in the Kb plug in the molality that we just saw for, and you'll have that answer. I'll let you finish that one on your own. Let's just real quick talk about number 52. Um, I don't think this one's too bad. It says a solution of an unknown solute in water. The, the fact that it's an unknown solute, we don't, it doesn't really matter. We're not gonna have to look anything up. And um, the identity of the solute doesn't matter. It's just the um, concentration, that's what the colligative property means. Now notice it gives us the information we need but in a different way. It says it has a boiling temperature of 100.255. You see that? Well, what is the normal boiling temperature of water? It's 100, correct? I think that is on the table if you didn't know that, but hopefully you know it's 100 degrees Celsius. So we have raised the temperature by, you see, 0.255. So that's what's going to go over here as the change in the boiling point temperature. It's been raised to 0.255 degrees, okay? So plug that in there. Kb, we know, is 
five one, and da 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 da. All we're solving for is the molar the molal concentration. So we can just uh, divide both sides by the KB, and you will know the molality. All right. Hopefully that one's not too bad for you. Um, when you turn the page and you do number 53, that one is similar. It's just using a different substance. It's basically using all the same types of steps that we've used. So uh, do your best on that one. <clears throat> Set it up as far as you can get. And if you get stuck, then when you go to score, look at the actual steps in the score key and see how far you got correctly and what uh, maybe you were missing.